guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing a what's in my kit video i am a freelance certified makeup artist in new jersey and i specialize in a lot of bridal makeup and i also do events and proms and basically everything so i wanted to show you guys what is in my kit i'm going to link everything that i have down below in the description boxes like the bags that i have the brush holders um, pretty much anything that you guys can get most of it is from amazon i'm gonna link them down below so let's get started okay so i'm starting with this brush holder here so i actually just got this from amazon and it is amazing i love how you can put the dividers inside of here and a lot of times um, with I know like the brush buddy they have those plastic uh, containers which I hear break all the time these are literally like fabric so I love this because it has a divider in here and you can customize it and it velcros so um, in the back I have I have three and three but you can not even use them at all and just have two rows um, or you know you can add however many so I have it all separated so I have like blending brushes bigger fluffier brushes, smaller definer brushes like liner brushes, and then I have powder, blush and highlight, and then like prep and concealer and foundation, moisturizer, stuff like that. So that's how I organize this. I also keep you know, some tweezers, I have some scissors in here, and I love this because it zippers down and then velcros right in the front. It has a strap also, so it's just awesome for travel. So I love this so much. I'm gonna link it down below. Um, it is from Amazon. Then I wanted to show you guys what I clean my brushes with. I use Cinema Secrets. I absolutely love this stuff. It's amazing. Um, I use this stuff for in between clients. Absolutely love it. I always keep about one or two extra in case I run out because I'm like obsessed with it. Okay, then I keep this little brush holder which opens up like this. Um, the reason why I have this is when I'm working, I can put the dirty brushes in here um, just so I'm not contaminating my other brushes that are in here. So whenever I'm working on a client, I put all the brushes that I use in here so then at the end I know exactly what brushes I need to clean and then if I even have to go back in and touch something up, I know where the brushes are and which ones are used for that client. Then I have my lovely beauty blenders. I love the original. Um, I love the black ones just because I feel like they're so professional looking. I used to have like all these different colors, pinks and greens and everything. And um, I also feel like they work a little bit different each color. So I just really like the finish that the black gives. And I order these off of Friends Beauty. If you are certified or have a license, you can get a discount. So I definitely recommend that. I I believe I have 10 of them and I feel like it's the perfect amount for you know bridal parties and proms and everything so love them okay so moving on to this first case again I got this from Amazon um, this whole kit right here is for eyes and lips um, I have two cases so I separated it between eyes and lips and then face that's how I like to organize this. I literally just organized this last night, so I'm so excited. I'm just gonna go through fast what I have. So I have a few of my favorite glosses up here. These are the Stilazzi lip glosses. They're so good. Um, I have a few of the Kat Von D. I have a Graftobian palette, NYX glitter glue, a few of the P. Louise bases. Um, I have the super skinny liquid liner from NYX, which is my fave liquid liner. Um, I have some Anastasia brow whizzes, um, tattoo brows. So in this little pocket, I have mascaras, and in this last one, I just have some scissors and some extra tweezers. So that's in the top. Okay, so for the bottom portion, I basically tried to keep it like lips are over here, and then this is all eyes. As you can see, I love the Stila liquid shadows. I am obsessed with them. Um, so basically all back here, I have them. So I have them organized by, these are like the um, shimmers, these are the glitters, and then these are all like the mini ones that I have. So I just have them all mixed. I think they're all 
pretty much um, glitters. So honestly, they're amazing. I just love the effects that it gives on the eyes. I, bomb. Love them, love them, love them. So in this one over here, I have some V Perfect liners. I also have a lot of lash glues. I have clear and I have black. Um, this is an appeal. Um, liquid shadow love this it's really gold so I love that I have two backup of my favorite Stila not really like I need them but just in case um, and like I said just more lash glue I really like the um, house of lashes black glue love that oh I also have the Clinique bottom lash mascara love this um, I have an extra one of that and then I have three more Stila's. These are the Vivids that I have, so these are more of like the um, the brighter colors, so what blue and like burgundy and whatever. These are little um, Lime Crime lipsticks. They're like super glittery, like iridescent. Um, I have three of these, so I keep those for flower girls because they always like glitter, so that's what I do. Um, in this little pocket, I have a sharpener and mascara spoolies, disposables. Um, okay, all here. Not really sure if you can see it that well, but I have three of the Anastasia uh, brow pomades. Um, I don't really reach for them that often, but if someone really does not have a brow, I do like to use those. Um, I also have Inglot gel liner. What else do I have? I have a few of the Inglot um, pigments, which are so, so, so beautiful. So I have a bunch of those. I have some cream eyeshadows. This is from Benefit. I have Birthday Suit. Love. It's like such a pretty champagne color. So I just have some like neutral color pigments in here. Okay, so for lips, um, I have a bunch of the Jouer lipsticks and lip glosses. I, I literally... I love these. Honestly, I think they're so good. They're so long lasting and I love the colors that they have. So those are like my go-to um, with the Selazi lip glosses. Love them. Then I just have a bunch of like the NYX. I have some of the butter glosses. Love those. Um, I just kind of have like random glosses. I have some of the Stila's. Um, I have Ofra Cosmetics. I have Maybelline, I believe. Uh, yeah, Revlon. I kind of kind of have it all here. This is Tarte. Like I said, I just kind of have like a mixture. I have a Jeffree Star also. I feel like most of my clients ask for some type of nude, whether it be a peachy nude, a nudie pink, a brown nude. You know, they pretty much most of the time ask for like neutral colors. So that's what I like to keep out um, because I just feel like I use it, you know, the most. So yeah, those are my lips. Okay, so now into the fun part. These are my eyeshadow palettes and a lip palette that I also have in here too. Um, this is a Makeup Forever tin. In here I have basically a lot of my MAC shadows that I um, put together. Some of them are um, Makeup Forever though, like these big ones are Makeup Forever. And I have an Anastasia and what else do I have in here? and Urban Decay. So yeah, this is like my go-to. They're all matte except this one in here just because I didn't have room for it, but this is my go-to palette just because I always, always start off with mattes on the eyes. So love this palette. Then I have my Anastasia Brow Palette. Um, love this palette too. This is what I use to fill in everyone's eyes. Um, this is what I use to fill in everyone's eyebrows. Like I said, if they have no brow at all, then I will go into the dip brow, but if they do have a brow and just need some filling in, I will just use the powders. And then I have the Anastasia Lip Palette, which um, I really cut back on a lot, a lot, a lot of my lip products. I felt like I was carrying around so many colors like reds and dark purples and you know, I felt like a lot of my clients just were not asking for that like anymore. Um, I do occasionally get, you know, a client that wants a dark lip or a bright lip, but for the most part they all want neutrals. So I was like, you know what, I'm not carrying around 50 different lipsticks that are like, that I never use. I remembered I had this palette and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna take the palette with me. If someone wants a coral, 
or dark purple or black or whatever, I have it. So, you know, and it's lighter, it's more convenient. So then I have this Juvia's eyeshadow palette. I love, love, love their eyeshadows. Um, the reason why I carry this one around with me in particular is because of their black. Okay, next I have this Natasha Denona palette. Love this palette so much. I love the gold and I love this brown just because it's like so neutral. But I also love it because of the purples in here because I feel like a lot of times clients do want purples too um, and I love this pop of blue so this is another palette that I customized um, these are mainly MAC eyeshadows as well so these are just ones that have shimmer in them or glitter um, they're mainly all MAC except maybe two or three of these I think maybe the bottom three are Urban Decay I'm not exactly sure but I absolutely love these shadows so much Okay, so I also carry around this palette. This is the Clientele Palette by Makeup Artist Ja. Um, she is on Instagram. This is by Be Perfect. This is her collab palette. And I love this, and I love carrying this around just because it's so colorful. And you never know when somebody is gonna want, you know, a bright color. Um, so I love carrying this around. I also love the browns. I wish there was a little bit more like neutrally tones in here, um, but I feel like they're very warm, which is totally fine. Um, but I like them because they have like a green and a purple, but they also have, you know, a bunch of other shades that are super, super wearable. This is basically my colorful palette, if you will. Um, just to kind of have with me in case anyone wants to switch it up or do something different. Um, so yeah, love, love, love this palette. And then I also have the Marvelous Mauves by Dose of Colors. These are just beautiful matte shades. I was on the hunt for just matte plum colors and like mauves because I love the original Carly Bible palette. Um, and these are just amazing. Absolutely love these, so keep that too okay so this is my face kit again from Amazon so up here I keep the makeup forever HD concealers they're good um, I don't know I like them for a kind of more mature skin or if somebody wants something a little bit more dewy or more lightweight um, I like those I also have the Jouer concealers these are full coverage um, they're pretty good too I keep some NYX HD concealers in here also. I just love how these blend out, um, so I keep those. I have a Makeup Forever color correcting palette, so I keep that in here. And then I just keep two ColourPop uh, concealers down here. I like this one because it's super light. Um, and I also keep this one, which is in the shade Deep Dark 5.4. Okay, so moving on to down here, I have um, a few of the Too Faced Born This Way um, concealers, love these. So I have Cloud, Vanilla, Butterscotch, Cookie, and Snow. Um, I also have like an Hourglass Foundation Stick in the shade Shell. Um, I keep them over here, but um, I actually ran out of room, so that one's just over here. I have a bunch of the Makeup Fiber HD foundations. These are just my go-to because they're so buildable and you know, they're meant for photos. Most of the time, you're taking pictures, so yeah, so I love these. Um, I also have the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear foundations. These are amazing, honestly, they're so good. Um, so I have five of those, and like I said, I just have four more of the Hourglass um, sticks in here. Um, I like these for girls that like a lot of coverage and um, also to contour with because they blend out so nicely. So then down here I have a few of the Makeup Forever um, Matte Velvet Skin Powders. Um, I, I love these. Like, they're great. Yeah, they're just amazing, love them. I have two of the Physicians Formula Highlights. They're more like goldy tones, which I don't really reach for, but they're nice. Um, I have this Too Faced palette, and this is in Berries and Bubbly, and I love the highlighter in this. 
If you guys know what Cookie looks like from Benefit, this is basically what it looks like. It's just a little bit more glittery, but I love this. And then, believe it or not, I have a highlighter from Primark. It's called Mink Pink, and it's just a beautiful champagne. Love it. Okay, so then down here I have three of the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush powders. Um, these are amazing. Honestly, they're so, so, so great. Um, so I have shades one, two, and three. I believe that's all the shades that they have. I, I love them. Love them to set the whole face. Um, or even just like underneath their eyes after baking. I just love it to brighten everything up. Um, so over here I have a MAC bronzer in Give Me Sun. Love this bronzer. This is another great bronzer. I have a butter bronzer and it just says 6676 bronzer. I guess it's one of the lighter shades. I love this for like lighter skin tones. Great. I also carry two of the Catrice Camouflage Creams. I love these to color correct underneath the eye. Um, I just feel like it really, really brightens it up. So I carry two of those. I also have a Givenchy or Givenchy, however you want to say it. I have two of their bronzers. Um, these are more like lighter bronzers for more of my clients that are more fair. Um, I love these. These are really, really great. Um, okay, so then I carry this MAC palette. It doesn't fit like in with the other palettes, so I kind of lay it on top. This has um, MAC Emphasize and a lot of their brightening powders. So this one is Accentuate and Light Sweep and Warm Light. So I like these to brighten up under the eye or kind of any areas on the face. These are just amazing. So then you can see that I love the Huda baking powders. Um, they're amazing. I used to not bake, and ever since I started baking, I just noticed a huge difference, I feel like, with my clients and like what my work would look like. So I absolutely love these. I also keep the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I know you can't really see it that well, um, but I like this for setting the eyelid before eyeshadows. Great. Um, and then I have a little Kat Von D blush. This is in the color Lolita. I like this for more like my darker skin gals just because it's so pretty. And then over here I have my palettes. I have the RCMA palette in 11 and I love this for contouring. Um, honestly, I like this palette a lot. I wish they were a little bit more blendable, um, but I feel like if you have on like a, a good foundation underneath, they blend out pretty well, so I do really like this palette a lot. Um, I wish the shades went a little bit darker, but I could just get you know a different palette with the darker shades. Then I have a Jouer blush palette. Absolutely love this palette, as you can see. You know, I really like this shade over here. This is Adore Me. It's just a beautiful matte. Um, it's like a neutral pink. It's not too crazy, and I feel like it goes with a lot of skin tones, so I love this palette. Then I have the Makeup Forever HD palette, and this is what it looks like. Um, I like this for a while for contouring. Um, it's okay. Honestly, I'm not crazy about it anymore. Um, I just liked having it to customize any shades if I have to. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I really don't reach for this anymore, um, but yeah. It's okay. And then I actually just got another blush palette from Jouer. This is in the shade um, Embrace Me and Love Me. And I really, really like these shades also. I just think they're so pretty and like neutral. Some people aren't a big fan of blush, so I like to still put some on um, that are a little bit more neutral colors. So I would probably reach for something a little bit more bronzy like this. So yeah, so that is the face kit, so let's keep going. Okay, so I got this little uh, book for pencils or color pencils um, on Amazon. Like I said, I'm gonna link it down below. But all here, basically, I have like my eyeliners. Um, I love the Makeup Forever Nude. I also love the Jouer um, Nude Pencil also. But I have black and I have browns and whatever. So. But my most used, I love using nudes on um, people's eyes. I just feel like it makes 
them pop. So in the next little bit, I have uh, basically a lot of MAC lip liners. I really, really like them a lot. Um, I just feel like they're so long lasting. Um, I also have a Makeup Forever and a ColourPop, which the ColourPop one is so good. The liner is in the shade O Snap from ColourPop and I am obsessed with it. That lip color for those clients that are like, oh, I don't really wear lipstick. I kind of want my lips, but better. That is like amazing, amazing, amazing. So I have those. And then I just have some more lip liners here. So I have Urban Decay, NYX, uh, Kat Von D, and I believe these are BH and Gerard Cosmetics. Um, I don't really reach for them that often. Then I keep my colored eyeliners. I very rarely reach for these guys, but I like to carry them just in case. Um, so I have like greens and blues, and then I have some purples and blues also. So, like I said, I don't really reach for those very much, but you never know if you, you know, you may get somebody that wants green and, you know, whatever. So, um, so yeah, I love this book too. It's super convenient. So, these bags are Zuka bags. I love the Zuka bags. I feel like they don't fall apart and they're just, they're great. Um, this bag is basically my skin prep bag. So, I love Embryolisse. Um, love this stuff so much. I love the Hydra Mat also for my my um, oily gals out there. Um, I love this stuff. Um, I have the Ben Nye Final Seal Setting Spray, which is bomb. You will not move with this. Um, the Morphe Setting Spray, which I love too, to like hydrate. I have It Cosmetics, Under Eye Cream, Laneige Lip Balm, Tatcha Water Cream, a NYX Hydra Touch, uh, a Danessa Myricks like glow, uh, little Tatcha Silk Canvas, Makeup Forever Step One Equalizer, and then in this bag, which I definitely recommend to all makeup artists, um, they sell these little clips on Amazon that don't leave the dent in your hair, and I literally use these on everyone because when I'm working weddings, a lot of times you you know, you go back and forth between hair and makeup and hair and makeup. Some people get hair done first, some people get makeup done first. So I always like to clip hair out of the way and those do not leave done. So you will not um, get yelled at by the hairdressers. So yeah. So in this bag, I have the micellar water. Love that. I have another Cinema Secrets, um, a little one that I bring around with me to travel. I just have these like q-tips that have like a point at the end i always bring gum and mints and cotton pads and this is just alcohol in here rubbing alcohol in case i need so that is what's in those bags so let's move on to the last few things okay so over here i just have this little kit that i carry around with like little um individual eyelashes i'm not a huge fan of individuals but you know, some people really like them. A lot of times moms or grandmas for weddings, um, especially if they haven't worn lashes before. So I just like to keep them in a kit like this just to keep them separated. Then I have my lashes. These are more of like my faux mink lashes. Um, I get them from AliExpress. Um, don't know about ordering from them now, but um, I thankfully I stocked up a while before all this stuff has happened um, because they are from China so um, yeah honestly they're amazing um, I can't really tell you exactly which ones I ordered because they're from like different sellers on the website um, but yeah these are like my mink ones I take them out of the case and I always label them um, and I get these cases from Hobby Lobby and then I keep another case for more of my natural lashes or like my Kiss, my drugstore lashes. So that is that. And then in here, I keep my Era Beauty foundations. This is what I use for airbrush. And I also have the Patrick Ta shimmers that I love putting on the chest um, to make them glow. So these are basically all like my aerosol products in here. I absolutely love these both so much. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys really enjoyed. Um, my camera was dying right now, so I had to kind of speed up the end. Um, but if you have any questions, please leave them down below. Like I said, I'm going to link everything 
that I have in the description box, any of the cases or brush belts or whatever. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye!